everybody, and welcome back to some more Paper Mario that's out in your door. We beat chapter two. Yep. Yep. And we start in chapter three. Yep. Making sure everything's good. Sorry about the audio in the last one. I, ha I kept the same audio settings I've done throughout this entire thing, and somehow it got quieter. So, hopefully now you can hear. I did some testing. Oh shit, my email! <laughs> oh, mercy me! Sounds like some mail! It's like, have you been tested yet? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Mario, I know how to media! <laughs> Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very con uh, concerned about me, but please, no, I'm fine! I'm actually more worried about you! <laughs> the friends who- the, the fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars! They're trying to learn what I can- I'm trying to learn what I can about them! I'll email you again if I uncover everything, okay? You must know I miss you! Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll be speaking carefree days again soon! Princess Peach! Yes! Attachment. Ten nudes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Tech is like, in the friend zone, for real, for real, that he's helping out with that. <laughs> Yeah, actually, deep into the friend zone. Yeah. Isn't that precious, Mario? Yeah. He cares about me. I think that they all appreciate it around here. No, get up, get lost. Get, no, fuck you guys. Right. Come on, fuck you, man. I'm trying to. Read you like a book. <laughs> you know what? Fuck you. Fairy. Blow them away. Oh shit, I forgot where the A button was. Shit. I forgot where the A button was. I'm so sorry. I was holding on the fucking B button. I was just playing on the Switch today, so. Ooh, there's all kinds of messing up. I'm up. fucking up for real, for real right now. <laughs> Got it. It's fine. We're fine. Don't worry about it. What was that noise? I heard something. Oh shit! They got her in the tits! Hammer. I was thinking the same thing. I forgot when. Maybe next shot will be hammer. Cause we just got a new jump. Yeah, cause I was like, your jump's doing more damage now. So I was like, it's it's like, it's like, why why would you? Run! It was before like, why would you ever use the jump when the hammer was like guaranteed to damage? Yeah. And then now it's like. Now it's like, you jump now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Except you, know you can't you can't jump on either of these guys. You know what? Just run away. Your mama ho! Hey, your mama. Your mama, you bald-headed ass. Oh yeah, back where we are. Where we started. Alright, thank you guys for yeah, watching. Yeah, thank you guys for- yeah. And this was a short one, but uh, you know, I think we made a lot of progress. Went from point A to point B. Yeah. Look at this. I did furious with this. What was that? Is that- Oh, that I think that's for the puny to come yeah. up. Yeah. There's a puny hole. Oh yeah, remember the little thing that we saw? Ah. I see. Treasure. Is it bad? Happy heart P. Slowly and, and automatically restores HP in battle for your ally. Get away from me! I'm not into that! Wait, isn't that what your door over here? It is, isn't it? Wait, hold on. I just realized. We got badge points. So we can upgrade some of our stuff now. So, what should we do? Wait, we do a quake what, hammer. What's damage dodge? Or damage dodge. Cuts damage by 1 HP with a guard action command. Oh, uh, yeah. Ally. You're, like, never used to the guard. Yeah. Put happy heart. I come with the quake armor. 
And then maybe we'll do charge? This requires one, one FP. For two or more badges, increases the power. Let's do the shrink stomp. What does shrink stomp do? For this shrink stomp, two FP is required. Um, oh, so it's like a stomp that like makes them do less damage to you? Yeah, it, it drops their attack power. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we'll try it out, we'll see. Definitely the Quake Hammer is so good. Because that not only does that affect brown enemies, but also affects them if they're on the ceiling. Like bats. Alright, Meta Flurry, you ready? How do I do this game? <laughs> Why? You're so fucking smart. Why? Man, it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, look, it's the thousand year horror. I mean, door. No, the door! <laughs> Lore! Oh yeah, wasn't there like something over here? Like for us to go up? Yeah. No, we never did it. Yeah, and I, I, I told you I was like. I was like, well, we're gonna come back here. Oh, Shine Sprite! Oh my gosh, you see Flurry? You good, girl? Wow, perfect. <laughs> Run. Disgusting. What are you disgusting? You're making plenty of jokes on this LP already. Wait, is that, is that all that was up there? Yeah. Now, my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time! Hold on, I gotta activate the rune, like they do in Breath of the Wild. We're getting infused with star magic! You've got chlamydia. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting our test results back. Yeah. Mario's in, uh, gasping in anticipation for his test results. Yeah, with all the girls that Mario's kissed throughout this LP so far, I'm surprised we don't have herpes. <laughs> Maybe that, that's what it says. Like at the corner. It's like, by the way. <laughs> Look at that. The floating island in the sky. What is this? Fucking Skypea? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking fun. Uh -huh. hey, that was the third arc. In one piece? Yeah. Yeah, it's East Blue, Alabasta, and then Skypea, right? Was there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the third chapter, Skypea. <laughs> oh, mercy me. The next crystal star has made an entrance. My, my, my. Larry, I really appreciate you, but your boobs are in the way. <laughs> but correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't that up in the sky? What does that mean? I think it means it's up in the fucking sky. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. Professor Frankly is going to be like, Mmm, yes! Okay. It's up in the fucking sky! Yeah, he's going to be like, Wow, you guys are fucking stupid! That, 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 that means that beneath this town, the thousand-year door ruins remains intact! No shit. We were there! Fuck it! <laughs> and the door was sealed shut with a thousand years by the crystal stars! In order to open that seal, we had to muster the power of all the crystals and we know! <laughs> Perhaps I'm just deft, but why would they want to steal this treasure away at all? Did they fear thieves in brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not! Mm, that's not what? <laughs> <It's her boo. laughs> Frankly, please! I'm sorry! So sorry! I know that the treasure was sealed away around this time when the, the, the town was destroyed, but the problem is no one's even sure what was that that caused the town's despise. All I was written was that darkness to go the sky and the chasm rain down. Whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> I was researched this more, assuming assuming we'll just make an well, you know, that saying. Oh yes. How inappropriate. I love things that are inappropriate. I bet you do, Flurry. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Yeah, I fucking love that Mario's just like that. He's not even moving. 
far, very interesting. Perhaps it's pointing to the, the floating town of Glitzville. There's something around there. It's all great warriors engaged in furious battle. Oh my god, it's like the fucking stadium from, from uh, Dress Rosa. <laughs> Is that a One Piece reference? Oh my god, it's One Piece! Even though it's made fucking 2004. Yeah, One Piece is. Oh. Yeah, but were they even address, Rosa? Oh, no. Fuck yeah, no. yeah, yeah. Essentially, families go there on vacation to allow them to enjoy the funds, but was Skype up before this? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wave around the bow. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Well, am oh. I boring you? No, I'm tired. Oh. <laughs> A floating city, you say? No, oh, are we just supposed to. Sprout wings and fly there, darling. Do tell she's saying that and she she's fucking what? floating. Fucking also, I love every time like her face is covered when this when she's speaking, and it's just her tits that move. Yep. A special blood flies there. It departs from a uh, rogue port several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way you get a ticket is for certain channels, if you know what I mean. Ooh, that sounds exciting. I love sucking dick for <laughs> some tickets. I mean, a little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know. But I guess I don't really have a choice. We're on the street, and all the tickets go through Don Pianto on the west side. Head west on Roadport's main plaza, and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta syndicate. syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta has a, a pretty regular joust over at Glitzville. Mmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to suck, I mean, meet him. Is this like a mob? <laughs> I mean, it, sound, it may sound easy, but he's a syndicate box fellow. Oh, I fucked that up. Hold on. <laughs> It's so easy, but he's a syndic what, how syndicate. Syndicate boss, folks. The roof is about to have our skin. Beyonce is a recul. What the fuck? Recluse. <laughs> Recluse. Just getting an audience with him would be difficult. All right, what's in your trash? I'm gonna fuck. Take your shit. I paid for a yelp. Found for me now. Thank you. Found for Gus. What's fucking Gus? I don't know. Uh, I don't, who the fuck are these people? <laughs> oh, it was the guy that we beat the shit out of over there. Oh yeah, we should upgrade some of our people. Oh yeah. Hi, Merlin. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the mu the super magician. I foresee your arrival. I must aid you as you wish. So with three shine sprites, I can power up your your partners. Hell yeah. Let's go what? Multi bonk. Shell shield or lip lock. Oh, I like lip lock. Hell yeah. Oh, the power of this powder. Yes. Actually, we can do two. Jabiz. We can do coops. Jazz Lobby. Look at her. My, my, holy shit. My bazongas are getting even bigger this time. Yeah, yeah. Let's do poops now. Yeah, power with partner. We're getting shield shell. Does it just take off a shell and it just he just uses it? <laughs> I uh, can't believe this. Why the fuck did we go to outer space? <laughs> what was it an episode where he's following the moon? He was like the moon. It's always there. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> And he falls through the fucking ceiling and breaks his leg. Yeah. Yeah. Very fitting. Look at that. His HP went up. Poor Gumbella, though. Alright, the west side of town, apparently, right? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh, Are we good? Okay. This, this <gasps> oh my god, it's Luigi! Oh, what voice did I give this dude again? Some badass voice. Why yeah. the fuck does he have a, a fucking cookie blooper? Hey there, I'm Bloopy. And this guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but it was completely ripped. And what happens? I end up in l landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? Thanks to him, I can't- I can't- I can stick a fork in me. Uh, but well, fuck. I'll never forget this guy! I'm gonna make him pay if it takes me my whole lifetime! That's the only reason I'm still hanging around him! You'll pay, Luigi! Damn. What the fuck happened? Hold on. 
Wait, get Cambella here. I want to see what she says about Luffy. Alright, Cambella. You're time to shine! That's Luigi's blooper friend, Bluey! It's totally weird to find bloopers on dry land. He seems peeved, though. I wonder why he looks all fried to a golden crisp. Damn! It isn't just like a weird color variant. Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventure. It was pretty nuts, so bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Hell yeah, I do. Hey, sounds good to me. Which part of my story you want to hear, bro? I gotta hear about Rumble Bumble Volcano, dude. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through the dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit, scared them off, you know. But as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Oh, no. Bluey was on a journey of his own. He joined me after hearing my tale. Now, Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Why? He's not even white anymore! <laughs> yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me in a fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place is all about bubbling lava pools and heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of this giant statue bro was a red gem on its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach this thing by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movement and hugged Bluey up there. Oh my god, he really did throw him. And bullseye, the white torpedo saved the day. That jewel got whacked. It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. So I set sail once again and came back here to Rogueport to recharge. I love that everything that Luigi says is based off of food. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Yeah, yeah that sounds great, bro. All right, I'm gonna go. If you want to hear about what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. That sounds interesting, bro. I'm gonna hang myself. This guy should have new stuff, right? Learn the timing of stylish move. I gotta pay for it now. Get out of here. Exos, terrorized Boggly Woods have withdrawn. Just what was their motive? Alright, then... What does this say? Corner. Whatever happened to that squishy little peony guy? I miss him. Sniff. Aww. Oh, it's Toadette. Oh, you wanna, wait, you wanna reread it. Whatever happened to that squishy little puny guy? I miss him. Sniff. The animal lover. I love Toadette. Really cute. Go ballot. Stop getting stuck in shit. I live on the... I just reset one of my switches to like factory mode. And like I, I have it on the dock so it can charge a bit, and like it's I still have it hooked to the TV, so it's like bitching at me to take it out of the dock to set it up. And I'm like, nah, I don't want to. This, oh yeah, Don Pianza, are you kidding? Ordinary guys like me never get to meet a guy like that. Even if you were to meet him, there's no, there's no telling what he might do to you. If you really, really want to meet him, ask the Robo Boss on the east side about him. Okay. Yeah, I bet that Ishnail will know how to get in touch with Don Pianta. Aren't they fucking rivals? I thought so. You know, like they're at war. I guess they just hate each other. Is that a secret entrance? What's that back? It looks weird. I don't like it. Maybe instead of jumping right into the next chapter, because I think on the east side of town, there's quests for us to do of like helping people, so maybe we'll have like a little day where we go around and try to help some people. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah. Cause you get some good items from uh, those people. All from hearing their troubles. Get money. Get bitches. Marty needs some bitches. Okay, you just back here, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
That was trippy. Excuse me, sir. You want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? Yeah. What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't vacation. Oh my god, he has cool music. Was that? You want to meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good, jerky for brains, cucker, Don Pianta? I, I, yeah, why would you ask them? Like, they're rivals. Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? Yep. <laughs> and you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Yeah. Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins. And no budging on that price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey, them's the breaks. Yeah, fine, we have money. Wait, are you not just gonna say like, no, and try and bargain with him? We well, just said not a penny less. Yeah, you're gonna trust this dude? He's a freaking criminal. Damn. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't even want to read anymore. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you fucking idiot. Good call. Stupid. 64 coins? Yeah, I would have done it for one. Stupid ass. Okay then, clean those ears and out and listen here. There's a parlor in the west part of town that's run by that worm, Don Pianta. There's a parlor? Okay. Go to the store next to the parlor. Buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial. Okay, I can do that. Make sure you buy them in that order. Dried shroom, dizzy dial. You got that? I got it. Oh, I didn't even hit your foot. <laughs> you do that and the shopkeeper's gonna ask you what your favorite color is. You answer, yellow. You got that? Not green. Not blue. Yellow. You hear me? Okay. So, dry shroom, dizzy dial, yellow. See, yellow is the password for getting into Don Scumbag's oh-so-comfy office. You got all that? Yes. Hey! Fucking idiot, scammed out of 64 coins, stupid ass. It's fine, we have plenty of money. Mm. Yeah, this is why I couldn't do negotiating. <laughs> Cause I was like, yeah, no, not a penny less. Oh, there's tracks, so it tells you. Didn't we just find that by accident? I was like, hey, look, I can fit through here. Yeah, I think so. I'm on. I hope we'll get the, the chapter thing going. So then once we're done with these like the quests next episode, then we'll we'll be right on track. Come on, Goombella. Alright. This chair is squeaky. Yeah. Squeak, 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 squeak. What do you say? The boss told me to look after this place. You got you gonna do something funny, I'll touch you like that. Ooh. That's the parlor. This guy. Dry shroom. Dizzy dial. Hey, hey! Here we go. Alrighty, mister. What's your favorite color, Stash? Yellow. Even though technically it's red. What's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question of all. Oh, let's try to see. What did she ask? I thought she asked what my favorite color was. No, she said, what color is your mustache? Oh. Yellow. Uh-huh. Well, you check out. You know the password. You, uh, you must be an acquaintance to Don Pianta. Good for you. I love that there's just a mob. This game. You can go through this door. Go on with your bad self. Who's on this other side? There's no one here. <laughs> People are fucking crazy. Oh my god, the music. Hi. Hey, this is the office of Don Piantis, uh Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that. What do you have to say? We got no business here, Scramalamp. What we do, wise guy? I ain't no- I ain't too jolly today. If you got beef, spit it out. Quicker, this ain't gonna hurt. Tickets, please. Excuse me? You wanna- You want me to give you a ticket to the blip? See, now to me, that's funny. 
You were seeing a comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some real nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on a rail boss? Look at him. What a rude. You must not pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble, what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came here to talk, no? That ain't no crime. So, we talk. You boys can wait until we're done before you rough him up, got it? So I ought to assume you want a reason for wanting to take it for the blimp. Out with it. Oh! <laughs> with that, you want to help some broad who got herself kidnapped? Ain't to rescue this dame, you gotta collect this crystal star. We're just telling everyone about these things! <laughs> the crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treble, ancient treasure? Yeah, yeah, I got two right here. <laughs> Benny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Fairy tale nothing. That treasure's real. Everyone, just shut it. <laughs> I don't care if the treasure's real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I can't help but but like a guy like you who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You ought to do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? Wait, what's the favor? I got I got a, a hit that you guys get. <laughs> yeah, it's on a uh, Princess Peach. <laughs> yeah. It's easy, it's none. It's less than none. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to be still nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this Frankie. And bring them here. If you're unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly. And that'd be known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Why it's you? It's because you loads can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you don't... I hope you don't ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss, boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? You find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francisca and Frankie look like this. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may run terrible. I just got thrown by the mob boss. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yo, Frankie's in this game and he's blue! <laughs> Super! Super. Excuse me. <laughs> no, I just have a fucking dry shroom on me. I'm gonna do the dial. Should I ask these people, like, where, where to find these guys? Just in touch. Here's like a hobby or something. There's a theater here? Alright, cool. Okay. So I'm assuming Frankie is her lover. So where where would I go if I wanted to run away with my lover? Mm. Back alley? Oh yeah, there's the wanted Goomba. There's not many places for us to go, because they, they can't because we can't go on the train yet. They can't go on the blip, so they're not in the next chapter. They're not in the west side, because I feel like he would have just seen them by now. So probably the east side? Yeah, maybe east side. While we're over there, we can get a, a, a quest going. I don't think they'll be in the sewers, would they? I don't think so. Wait, wait. Oh, this wall looked weird. <laughs> I'm 
pulling out a car trick today to make tons of loot. But someone started tailing me, so I came here to hide for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here, or I'll cook. What the fuck? Who's that guy? That's weird. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like Glen places, yeah. I think in my past life, I was mold or a potato bug or something. Yeah, neat. You know, it's neat, because I love... I just love places that are dark and moist. Nice. This guy's fucking weird. Why don't we find all the weird people in Rogue? Oh, shit. Okay. Where? <laughs> okay. I guess there was nothing else back here. This is cool. How many places back here? We, the only thing back there is a house. We don't have the, another curse. Mm. E. Barrels. Treasure down there. You know, I think if I was gonna run away with my lover on this place, I think I would go to the port. That way you catch a ship. That's true. Yeah. Wee. Wee. I gotta hide between Luigi's fat ass cheeks. Oh shit, I didn't mean to talk to you. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> What'd you think? Nothing. What about Luigi's ass cheeks? Nothing. No, 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 no. You gotta say it now. Hey, we haven't been here since we <laughs> we've, uh, we beat up Lord Chump. Looks like different toads are here. What's a satellite dish? Oh, oh, yeah! Hello! I found you guys! Hey, back up, you creep! You don't want something or, or... Wait, you want something? Or do you like sliding up to people? What? Dad, did you to find us? And take us to him? Frankie, what do we do? If Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Oh, face. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'd do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll. If we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie. Hi, Frankie. Don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Oh my god, this is like those couples that make out in the hallway at 7 a.m. <laughs> so let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the end of the earth if we do, if we have to. But, Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can't, Frankie. The more you try to put it out, the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I'm begging you. Pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? Yeah, I can do that. Oh, I would have said no way and I would have turned their asses in. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. You're swell, mister. You're a real stand-up guy. Alright, now go tell them. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you just slide at them, dude. And then you go and you go turn them in. Oh, look at this guy. He's a bomb. Yeah, but his bomb has bones on it. No matter how much I work, it seems like I'll never get filthy rich. Of course, ain't like I got a choice. Gotta work to live, which means... Ha, oof, ha, her, bleh, bleh, got out of the way, you dock rat. Move your sneaky self. Fuck you. What should we do, Mario? We at least have to tell Don Pianta something. But that stuff about our luck turning terrible didn't sound all that appetizing. Yeah, I mean, we have to go back. In the next one! <laughs> Sorry, I keep hitting your leg. I apologize. What will we do with Frankie and Francisca? Will we get murdered? Probably. Yeah, find out next time on Dragon Ball Z! <laughs> the plot thickens. The pot, yeah, the plot does thicken. They are kind of thick. The fiancés. Yeah. I love the only exposure to Piantas I've had is like uh, like Mario Kart when they're like in Coconut Mall, just being all happy. And I think um, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, they're in there as well. They're like nice people. And then this game, the the ones that we see here are fucking part of a mob. <laughs> yeah. Love to see it. Yeah. Are you so mad at me that I gave up 60 for <laughs> Yes. How dare you. Yeah, well, I thought it was a good deal. He said he wouldn't move, and he was like... 
Yeah, so... You didn't let me bargain, is what this, uh, thing is. I guess I learned something today. Yeah, never let me bargain for stuff that I want. That's, that's the lesson that we've learned today. Oh yeah, we can do this now. We can find star pieces easier. Oh! <laughs> nice. I don't know how often those appear. I'll do them in Sisters with Places, but anyway. Next, we'll head to Don Pianta. What will our fate be? Will Francesca and Frankie run away together? When will Luigi be honest about his stories? That and more in the next one. Yep. Yep. Alright, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>